yoga is a way of life. That's what it is. Well, I think it happened to me a couple of years back. So I had a very bad injury and somebody said, you know, do yoga. I think, you know, you'd really benefit from it. And, and uh, I was doing physio, etc. So I said, okay, chalo, let me do yoga. And I don't think I ever look back. Getting a desired body is one thing, but actually feeling good about yourself is a very different uh, thing. And I think it just helped me in every stage of my life. And I think yoga has been my best friend. Initially, I remember when I started, like, like anybody else, you can't touch your toes, you can't bend, you can't do anything. I think I've just overcome all those things, you know, slowly, slowly. And I think, you know, eventually I am well. Let's start with the Surya Namaskar. In yoga, the most beneficial aspect of, of yoga is the Surya Namaskar. So we'll do all. Let's do it. 12 steps. Join both your hands in front of your chest. Inhale, go up. Both your hands with your breath. Exhale, go down, touch your toes. Take your right leg back. Stretch both the palms on the mat. Take your left leg back. Stick pose, straight hip down, knee down, knee down. Open your feet, chest down. Inhale, come up, Bhujangasana. Look up, superb. Exhale. Downward facing dog, mountain pose. Inhale, right leg up in the air. Bring it forward. In between your hands. Left leg forward. Touch your toes. Inhale up. And exhale, Namaskar. This itself, if you do like 12 times, 12 rounds, that is 6 in your right and 6 in your left, is the best stress buster every day in the morning. Most importantly is your breathing. To remember to breathe in, breathe out at all times. And uh, there are certain postures which you hold, but that's very good because that really gives you a lot of, a lot of strength endurance, yeah. and endurance. So I think uh, for me, ideally, I think to start my day with a couple of Surya Namaskars is, the best. is the best. The best stretch that you can do. There is a misconception that people think that yoga is very boring, that it takes a lot of time, that it takes a lot of time, that I think uh, for me, yoga is not about working out, it's not about getting ripped or getting the right kind of body or the body shape or whatever. For me, it's a way of, of life. And if you make a part of your life in your life, then I don't think you'll ever feel that uh, yoga is boring or you know, why do you want to do it? I think just make it a way of life and I think that's how you should live. It's that one hour of the day that I choose for myself and that is my time. So when I do that yoga for one hour, it's like I have my blinkers on. I don't like anybody bothering me. My phone is kept away, that is my time. So you don't have to do it 10 times a day. I'm not a teacher, I'm still, I'm learning. I would hope one day that I can actually be able to take a class where I say, you know what, and actually be able to tell people, you know, do this and do that. Yoga is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a four-year-old kid or a, or a 80-year-old, yoga is for everybody. There's nobody who cannot say that, you know, I can't do yoga or yoga is not beneficial you know, for me. So I don't think, I think, in fact, things like weightlifting, etc. Not everybody can actually do it. It requires a lot of uh, uh, do you different You still do weightlifting? I do a bit of everything. I think that's part and parcel of my, of my training. Uh, when I say training, as in part and parcel of my, of me being fit or being yeah. a certain way. But yoga, I think, is for everybody. I think it just made me a, a, a calmer, happier person. I think we all deal with so much in our life yeah. on, a, on a daily basis various kinds of upheavals. I think yoga has just completely made me a happier person. Right amount of sleep, right amount of food, as in the correct food and uh, water and yoga. I think if you have these four aspects in your life, you're sorted. I have a, a very, very symbiotic relationship with, with food. I love my food. The options of travel, food, yoga and food dancing. <laughs> Then she may be able to pick food and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> then she may be able to pick. I don't know, I feel like that food is popping more happiness on her face than anything else that I've really talked yeah, about yeah. so I'm a, far. I'm a complete foodie. Complete. Do you like do some stuff like don't eat beyond 7 p.m.? Is that what your rules are? Yeah, well, I think now those are certain things I've incorporated in my in my life. Can we know what those are? I don't believe in, in diets. I don't believe in these fad diets. I don't believe in not eating. I, those are things that I can't. I'm somebody who believes in eating right, yeah. eating on time, having you know home cooked nutritional food. Yeah. That's somebody. So that's something I really believe in. Another thing that I think has also you know with yoga that has really helped me is intermittent fasting together. Yeah. Doing it, I think that has really helped me. I do not eat post seven in the evening. So with sundown, I that's my my last meal. So these are a few changes I've made because I feel it really has 
helped me it has benefited completely you know mind body and soul i try and tell this to as many people as i can some people adopt it some can't but i think again these are just few changes in your life that you need to make so let's do some nakasan which is also called boat pose breathe in stretch your knees yeah knees straight and then slowly if you can both the hands in front Ooh, okay dying <laughs> Me straight. Why is my thigh and getting? That's somewhere. the whole point. So lift it, try and uh, take a little help with your uh, fingertips, uh, just on your fingertips, like okay. that, and keep your feet as and suck your tummy in. Look straight, and then hands out. Yeah, that's if you can hold it. Can I leave? Yeah. Yeah, I go. Ah, dish. Okay, this is going to take forever. <laughs> But of course, like I said, you don't have to start. instantly with your legs held out you can start okay and then slowly start stretching your your legs out that eventually comes with with practice but it's excellent for your for your core strength and it's not just about having great abs the whole point is to have a strong core yeah. if your core is strong you can you can do anything and everything you won't have any aches no pains you will not be uh, it won't be a difficult task for you so i think the whole point is to make your core strong all right so before i go there was this strangest thing that was told to me ki yoga se aapka butt chala jata hai i have a sindhi butt she has the most gorgeous one out there would you like to say something about that before we leave i think these are all myths that need that need to be busted whatever you do eventually will will show great results so whether it's your upper upper body your lower body your legs your whatever it may be i think uh, eventually it will look look great i had the weakest arms the weakest i could not like forget lifting weights i can do a handstand forget that i mean a basic thing like earlier when i would um, do this i had to always put my my knee down and then go down i could not but now i can actually hold which i couldn't do earlier Well, yoga is a way of life, and Happy World Yoga Day to me, I think it's one of the best things. As being an Indian, it's a part of our culture. Let's hope we embrace it and make it a part of our lives. Lovely, Mala, and thank you so much, Sarva. Thank you so for much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very happy International Day of Yoga, uh, which is the 21st of June, and uh, I've had a great time shooting today. And if you've enjoyed uh, uh, what we've done, I catch us on uh, midday.com, and all the very best. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.